Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It was the battle of two Debbies on the 90 day. The single life season four, tell all as Debbie Aguero and Debbie Johnson engaged in a war of words over Natalie Mordot-Seva's divorce. The final part five of the longest reunion in the history of 90 Day Fiancé was full of laughter, anger, tears, and surprises with Mike Youngquist showing up to the set armed with divorce papers for his estranged wife. Mike revealed details about his new girlfriend Sarah while confirming he wanted to get married to her and have babies, which he could only do after divorcing Natalie. Mike's shocking decision resulted in Natalie's breakdown and made enemies out of Aguero and Johnson. Most of the cast members turned against Aguero to support Johnson, presumably because of her longtime association with the franchise as a cast member, while newbie Aguero hardly received any backup. It's now time for 90 Day Fiancé fans to decide which Debbie they will choose to team up with, Miss Debbie, Mama Debbie, or none. Mike decided to divorce Natalie on television just because they got married on camera in April 2020. Mike decided to serve Natalie the divorce papers through Johnson, who acted as the legal third party. Mike announced he had started the divorce process during the tell, all after revealing that he had started seeing a new woman since December 2022. Mike looked at Johnson and asked her to get the piece of paper. Mike's decision caught the cast by surprise as Natalie exclaimed, You came to divorce me. Johnson hugged Natalie as the latter went through the papers. I'm so sorry. Johnson apologized to Natalie, while Mike explained he gave the papers to Johnson because he needed someone to serve Natalie. Mike had divorce papers drawn up two weeks before filming the tell-all. Natalie immediately started to sign the papers but was stopped by her co-stars, including Mike, who told her she didn't have to sign right away and had 90 days to respond. Natalie was devastated by what was happening around her. Mike didn't give her the time to process the divorce, nor did he confront her. Aguero was felt for Natalie and lashed out at Johnson for supporting Mike. Johnson kept apologizing to Natalie but Aguero turned to Johnson to call her out for her Judah's move. Aguero asked Natalie to take a deep breath. Her motherly instincts took over as she asked Natalie to take control of her life. Aguero didn't want Natalie to sign any documents until she got professional advice. This was extremely cruel. Aguero didn't hold herself back from slamming Mike. Aguero told Mike that he should have done it privately. She thought it was cruel that he waited until the tell-all to serve her, especially after Natalie had been traumatized by Josh Weinstein at the reunion. But look at her, she's really shook up. Aguero noticed how Natalie was not in any shape to sign anything. While Natalie knew that she had the divorce coming for years, Aguero insisted Mike shouldn't have done it on national TV. Their marriage was a happy event but he had disappointed Natalie by serving her in front of the cameras. Don't pick on Mike, this is none of your business. Johnson finally decided to take a stand for herself and Mike against Aguero. Aguero continued calling her namesake, Judas. She accused Johnson of coming to the tell-all and being nice to everybody while having malicious intentions. Aguero said Mike could have asked anyone on set to do it. At least he knows I care about her. Johnson told Aguero she didn't care about her opinion. She said her serving the papers was Natalie was better than some stranger who didn't care about Natalie doing it on behalf of Mike. Aguero accused Johnson of being cruel. Aguero told Mama Debbie Johnson that her actions didn't look very motherly to her. Your F asterisk 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 bitch. Johnson yelled at Aguero. She proceeded to call Aguero, Miss Debbie Clown of the Century. Meanwhile, Natalie revealed she never wanted a divorce from Mike. Aguero and Johnson came face to face backstage during their break time. Johnson got along well with Veronica Rodriguez, who revealed she was constantly in touch with Mama Debbie 
after Jamal Menzies broke up with her, and she needed someone to talk to. Chantel added some unnecessary fuel to the fire by telling Johnson about how Aguero had mocked and judged her for not wearing panties under her dress in Greece. Chantel thanked Johnson for praising her twerking skills. Miss Debbie is commenting on your outfit? Really, the clothing expert from hell? Aguero said Johnson was coming after her and calling her a clown because she defended someone who was emotionally fragile. Johnson insisted she knew Natalie a lot longer. As Aguero observed 90 Day Fiancé stars Veronica and Chantel both.